How's it going guys? So I'm just about to head to Heathrow Airport to pick up good friend Jimmy Noreen. As I said in the previous episode, I'm going to be showing you a few behind the scenes of what we're up to and all sort of vlog style stuff. So just about to head to Heathrow now. His flight is in about oh, a couple of hours, so we should get there in time. And I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes. I'm going to be giving you some insights as to why Jimmy is here. Because we've got a lot of exciting things. I'll see you guys in a bit. What's going on guys? So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about my book, when it's coming out, when the launch is. It will be soon. I know it's been a very, very long time. It's been way over a year, but it will be out soon. I'm gonna be relaunching it on Amazon and my goal is to be a bestseller. But on that topic, I get a lot of questions regularly and something that always comes to mind, something I've been thinking about a lot, is the question of, Mark, what's the end goal? I always get asked that question, what is the end goal? And the truth is, there is no end goal. And I think, Focusing on an end goal actually sets you up for failure. We've seen this time and time again. You've probably heard the story of Tyson Fury. You've seen what happened to him. Focused on wanting to win this belt, win that belt, do this, do that. Completed everything that he set out to do. Incredible person. And then what happens? His life goes a downward spiral. It's a slippery slope. He gets complacent. Drugs, depression, suicidal. Uh, this stuff is not a joke. And we see this time and time again. If, you're, if you have an end goal, you're almost setting yourself up for failure because that you have this right, I wanna get a house, I wanna get a car, dog, this, that, business, another income, and then once you do that, your mind's so fixated on the fact that you had this end goal, you then get complacent because you take the foot off the gas as soon as you achieve it. And I think it's really, really important to understand this type of mindset to make sure that you're forever a student of the market. I mean, there's a reason why you see 77 year old billionaires, they're still working. They're still focusing on what they need to focus on. Why? It's because they clearly understand this concept that they've got hundreds of millions and billions everywhere. It's not, a, they could retire and do whatever they want. They could be on a yacht in France, in Monaco, and just relax. But they realize that it's not about that. So I encourage you to start thinking bigger than what you're thinking about now. It's not just about the goal because you'll find that if your goal is to get a car, for example, you want a supercar, you'll get that supercar, you'll fixate on it, and then you'll be unfulfilled and unhappy. And you'll question, What's my purpose? It's because most people in life, they're lost. They're focusing on things that don't actually matter and they're not as important to them as what they think. And sometimes people have to achieve those things to then realize it on the other side. And I've been there before, trust me. So from the perspective of this, what I encourage you to do is start thinking about your goals, but never an end goal. Always being open-minded, coachable, teachable, really thinking about but what happens next once you've achieved that goal what's after that what are you going to do with the money where are you going to invest what impact are you going to leave on the world who are you going to serve these type of things are so powerful to keep you sharp moving forward in life and just forever a student of the market this is why i set goals as a side effect i'm not interested in the goal itself i'm focusing on right once i achieve this this milestone as a reward i treat myself as a side effect and what that's done is that's actually leveled me up further than ever before so i encourage you to do that so guys and girls i hope this message resonates with you let me know if it does and whatever goals that you're focusing on at the moment wherever you are in the world hope you're keeping safe i'll catch you guys and girls soon right guys so we just got to heathrow terminal 2 we're just about to pick up jimmy uh jimmy we're just we're just about to pick up jimmy um so he is landed he's around it somewhere so we're just going to pick him up head back we're about it's only about an hour and a half back to ours Traffic was good actually, it was quite a smooth drive and yeah, it's, it's going to be really, really, really exciting. Jimmy's just come over from Germany, he, as you've probably seen on his profile and stuff, he's, um, he's always travelling around the world, but he's been in Germany for a bit, so it's going to be fun. What do we do? Do we like touch elbows? Yeah, elbows, or? elbows are good. I'm easy. <laughs> this is dynamic mode, by the way. Damn. Some beautiful sounds. It's got a nice V8 engine in it. Reminds me, reminds me of the little jet that came on 
to, to the UK just now. <laughs> Similar sound. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. It's not the steps, like not, not to devalue the steps and the approach because that's just like a tactic. But it, it's not that, it's actually all of them can do what, what we can do. They just lack the encouragement of that kind of big brother over yeah, the shoulder yeah, to say, yeah. just keep going, don't worry about it. You know, they're like, oh, is it normal to feel like this where you've been doing something for two years and you've had no success? Mm. Anyone that's been through that would be like, don't worry about it, just keep on going. You know, because you've been through it and you've done it. So it's not actually the formula and the steps because the steps can only take you so far. The steps can only say, right, when this happens, do this and do that. But when you've got someone who's done it or is doing it, they can say, look, that's fine, don't worry. And then you get that sense of clarity that you're like, oh, I'm, I'm doing the right thing because Jimmy said it's cool, he's been through it. And then they persist a little bit longer and they get their awards. Yeah. That's all it is. And then we're giving them that. 100%. And the sense of consistency, I think that's important. Mm. You go to one of those big events, you pay two, five, 10K, you feel amazing after a week. You literally feel like you could, you could accomplish anything. Yeah. But then afterwards, you go back home to your old habits. You know, when I go back, for example, to Fusebrook where my girlfriend lives, when I go under the shower, I have to, I have to turn on cold water right away. Mm. It became a habit, like the Pavlov's dog. Mm. Like, I know that shower, and whenever I enter, I have to turn on the cold water. <laughs> but when I travel, I have to say it's way more difficult. When I travel, I'm like, ah, let me start with the warm water first. Mm. But in her place, bam, it's always the cold water. So, but it's consistency, building those habits, right? Building your associations. Yeah, I've, I, ne I never studied business myself either. What did you do, engineering? Yeah, just engineering. Um, and then engineering taught me like what you said about teaching how to think. Um, language was a, a big part of, uh, of things that helped me as well, music, because I learned different lessons from them. So for example, music taught me patience. Uh -huh. Learning how to play the guitar taught me patience. So whenever I would struggle with something, I would then think about, because with music, right, you can be literally learning for 47 hours, just 15 seconds of music. Yeah. You know, so many hours of just a small piece of music and you can go from not knowing how to playing it to, to playing it flawlessly within like overnight, where it feels like overnight. So anything I ever struggle with, I'm able to link it back to that uh -huh. because I, I associate, be patient because you can really feel like you don't know what you're doing, put all the hours in and then suddenly you, it will just click for you. So yeah. just persistence. So, but business would have never taught me that. I would have just learned, oh, you have to set up a corporation, this, that, that. Like, I didn't know any of that. I learned that through yeah. just trial and error. Guys, what's going on? So it's been a few days now since we've started filming. You know, it's been a hundred miles an hour. So we wasn't gonna do everything step by step, <laughs> but you know, we thought we would just make sure that we get into things first. And it's been super exciting. I mean, Jimmy, how have you found it so far? Really amazing. As you can see, I feel very comfy here and uh, we had some amazing conversations. Great content, always pleasure, man. Always. And by the way, thank you for tuning in for this. Appreciate it. Uh, we actually want to show you something. We've got our equipment here. I'm going to show you. We ordered a bunch of books. This is the War of Art. We have uh, 21 Lessons. We have Atomic Habits. We have like a bunch of books that we want to refer to in, in the stuff that we are doing, which mm. we cannot reveal yet because it's top secret. But as you can see, a bunch of books here in the house. So what we are doing is, in, in, in some of the videos that we are making is we try to refer to amazing offers, give them the credit, make people buy their books. Because I do believe that, for example, this book is uh, something that everyone should read to understand what the current world is all about and what the future holds. So yeah, it's great stuff. Having fun, playing basketball, chilling with the boys. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I mean, last time you was uh, in the UK, was it the conference the last time you was in the UK or before that? Yeah, last time was, was in London at Falcon FX conference, so it's been, it's been over a year. And it's good to be back. It's yeah. good to experience uh, nice British weather. <laughs> Losing my tan already. It's been, it's been raining quite a bit, so we've been filming as yeah. when we can. It's, uh, it's like 10 p.m. now on, well, it's Friday night. So Friday night, 10 p.m. Uh, we're filming it's been so much fun. We've gone into so much detail already and yeah, uh, we would love to go into all the details right now because my, uh, we've done an IG live earlier and the amount of messages that have just blown up in my yeah, DMs already. Yeah. Just have to random, keep random. So I was talking to Eve actually about Lil Dicky, the rapper. <laughs> and the moment I said, the, <laughs> the, moment I said the, the word Lil Dicky, like with no context, people could probably hear it in the live video. Yeah, yeah. And Mark is like, yo, we are live now. And I'm like, okay, great. So the first impression is 
me saying Lil Dicky right now. People, <laughs> setting you up on purpose. Yeah, people don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, it was good. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, honestly, we appreciate you tuning in. I said I would show you more behind the scenes of you know things that we've been doing, but it honestly is 100 miles an hour. And when you're when you're building businesses, you're focusing on different projects. You know, it can get difficult at times. But this is why planning, preparation, mm -hmm. and all these kind of things that have to come into place. I mean, Jimmy, you're here now for the next, what is it, another what? three days, something like that? Yeah, maybe a bit more. Yeah, I don't have any flight yet, I haven't booked any flight. Yeah, so you don't know whether you're heading back to Germany or? No, I just got a message actually from one of my friends. Uh, I, I can't mention the name because it's, uh, yeah, but but uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, fly to one place to, to meet some people, so. Yeah. Crazy adventure Yeah. That, that this life is, right? Yeah, 100%. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all the comments as always, the love and the support. We'll give you some more updates and I'm sure there'll be some more vlogs for you tuning in very, very soon. But let us know in the comments, by the way, if you like this kind of more style behind the scenes, the vlogs, that type of stuff. And as always, have an incredible day. Speak to you all soon, guys. Cheers. The massage gun, it helped, right? The what? Which one? The massage gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he was massaging me with the gun. <laughs> so, oh, you're filming? Yeah, so my neck is fucked up, as you guys, as you guys could hear, and uh, he's been massaging me with a, with a gun. So... Um, yeah, no, no, no funny business here, no like all dog bodies, not no just like, a, yeah, yeah, no time massage, just like proper <laughs> gun. It's like, you know, one of those, how would you explain it? It's like the rubber gun that you use to massage the muscles, it kind of yeah, goes it's, like it's, this. It's a, I was going to say, it's a, it's a vibration gun, but we, <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 won't, we won't go into that much detail. So this guy, he just keeps making eggs, it's like, it's golden funny, it's like, you know, like how, how you see like, like the, one of those like golden retrievers and like they're super nice, but then they have their territory and if you come too close to the like ball, they're gonna, they're gonna go like this. So with Mark and, and eggs, you gotta be very careful because uh, so when we go to the kitchen, like it's almost like he claims the eggs, right? He's the egg man. So, so I can make the avocado and like some guacamole. He gets very serious. Have we got like, any B-roll of that? I love this because I, I do this all the time with girls, everything like that. With girls? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, it's this British accent. Oh, sorry. I, I come from Poland, you know? Like, I thought he said Easy girls. Mistake. Where's mistake. Roxanne? <laughs> Roxanne will not be very happy no, about it. She won't be watching this. So yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly. Uh, so, what, I do, you, what you do with the girls, though? <laughs> I do, honestly, I do this all the time, even on flights, right? Even if yeah. I'm going to go on a flight. <laughs> oh, my yeah, be, before, before I watch a movie or relax, yeah. I want to chill. <laughs> Honestly, before I relax, <laughs> watch a movie or chill, I'll make sure that I, you know, yeah, we're done. Yeah, well, yeah, we're done. <laughs>